There are a lot of strong opinions in the whiskey world about infinity bottles. Is it possible for an infinity bottle to compete with world-class bourbons like Van Winkles and BTAX? If you want to find out, then stick around. Before we get started and uh, before we introduce our guest here, we've got to give a massive shout out to our patrons, mm -hmm. all of you faithful supporters of the channel. Now, you don't have to be a patron to, to uh, support the channel and the mission here. You can just simply subscribe or like this video, which we encourage you to do that. But there is something else that you can do that's not just a one-way street. It's not just a donation. You can click the link below that leads you to the Patreon and uh, see the options that we have there. And they're not just, again, one-sided streets there. We can give you back uh, that appreciation that we feel and that love that we feel from you in the in the form of bonus content, special offers, distillery takeovers. We do barrel picks, in-person meetups, and monthly uh, virtual bottle shares. So there's a ton of benefit to supporting the channel. So if you haven't checked it out, click the link and see for yourself. But otherwise, we just want to thank you for tuning in today. Speaking of patrons, aren't you a patron? You I have one right here. I am, sir. Um, you were quite possibly the first patron. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a, a myth and a legend at the same time. There's a little <laughs> bit of a debate because somebody uh, saved the link from when we launched, but we couldn't sign up because there was a yeah, we're waiting for the staff to approve it. Right. <clears throat> um, and then the staff yeah. approved it, but we hadn't told the public yet. And somebody happened to have the link. <laughs> but he was the first person to sign up when we nice. released the link. He was an OG. ready. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and Proud this, supporter. Right. This is Chris Kroom, a uh, longtime family friend. Um, I used to hang out with this guy starting, we did the math, I would, I would have been 50, about, 30 years ago. Yes, yeah, about 30 years ago. 30 years ago is mm. when he and I started hanging out, and then we both found out that we love whiskey, and we share that passion now. And he's a, he's a local hero in the form of a firefighter. So, yes, he is, uh, he is also mm. emergency medical services That's and awesome, a firefighter. Man. So he glad to have him on. Thanks saved many him. lives, uh, formerly a uh, uh, care flight. Um, EMS, right? Yeah, yeah, I did that a little while too. So, if y'all don't know, the people that ride on the helicopters, they are the special forces of emergency uh, medical services. I enjoy giving back. Yes, they, so. they, uh, that's what he's known for in the whiskey community. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what an infinity bottle is. So, an infinity bottle is typically a decanter, and you blend your own open bottles into your decanter, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, they call it an infinity bottle because you never let it get empty. Um, as you get new bottles, you just kind of add stuff to it. Mm -hmm. But my Infinity Bottle only gets the best of my top tier whiskeys. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. And so typically when I hear people saying like, oh, Infinity Bottles are nonsense and blah, blah, you're ruining good whiskey. Those are individuals that put stuff in their bottle they didn't love. Right. Right. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Um, it, I, well, I think the concept is if you put some of everything you buy then you have this like historical record of everything that so. you've owned. I guess that's true. But I wanted something that was delicious. Yeah. And so I don't put every single bottle I buy mm. in there. Um, I just put the ones that I think are great because what I've learned about whiskey is that you don't have to be a master blender to take two delicious whiskeys, pour them together, and have a third delicious option. Right, yeah. And so that is kind of uh, the philosophy with my Infinity Bottle. Um, and, you know, I... I told somebody this the other day, and they were like, really? And I was like, yes. So I've had this Infinity Bottle for so long, and I've gone through so many highly allocated bottles that I started trying to calculate what it would cost me to buy the bottles on the secondary mm -hmm. to recreate this Infinity. Yeah. And it's over $100,000. Wow. That's insane. So one of these glasses, one of these glasses has, is... has a blend in it that if you were going to try and recreate it at home, it would cost you over $100,000. Wow. Interesting. So now the question is, That's... in a blind, is that going <laughs> to stand out? Can it stand up against world-class whiskey? So okay. what we have for you today in your glasses. All right. One of them has Eagle Rare 17. Holy which cow. is one of your favorites. That is one of my favorites. I love that. And the most money I've ever paid for a bottle of whiskey. Um, <laughs> another one has George T. Stagg, okay. uh, which happens okay. to be my favorite whiskey of all time. Mm -hmm. Another one has uh, Van Winkle 
12 year lot B. Okay. Another one has old Rip Van Winkle 10 year. Okay. And one of them, of course, has my Infinity Pour, which has all of those bottles and many, many more in yeah. it. Oh wow, wow, this is gonna be this is this is an epic. I would say this is one of my favorite blinds set. so far. It should this be. This is interesting right here. It should be. I've taken this bottle to a blind before with inexperienced palettes, and there were like 17 bottles, and it came in third, which I found significant. Yeah. Um, because it was inexperienced <clears throat> drinkers even that thought that it was better. So uh, with some experienced palettes, we'll see how it does. So basically, yeah. what I want us to do is we don't have to give the glasses of rating we all know they're probably going to be in the high 90s because right. they're the world-class ones but um let's just rank them and i want to see where the infinity bottle falls okay uh, i think it'd be great if it won but i don't think it will yeah um but we're going to find out together so um uh, chris typically when we're doing this I recommend that you don't always taste and smell the glasses in the same order mm -hmm. so that you don't end up with palate influence from the same glass every time you taste that whiskey. Mm -hmm. So just kind of skip around and we're going to fast forward or cut all of this part out. And at the end, we're going to do the reveal. We're going to talk about what we learned. Cool. All right, let's do it. Awesome. Let's I got nothing to lose here. Either, I have no stake in the game. Uh, I was this, in the right place at the wrong time, apparently. <clears throat> this is either Lot B or one, or Eagle Rare 17, and I really think it's the Eagle Rare. Hmm. Damn. This one do tastes like make, it has some age on it. Do we want to make fools of ourselves and guess? Ooh. I'm always down to make a fool of myself. All right, yeah, let's do I'm it. In. Okay. Um, do we need Chrissy Lynn for the reveal? Uh huh. Okay. And I need water. <clears throat> What are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm testing my new whiskey glass that I had designed. Why? Well, there's a company out there that's a real Karen. Hmm. And she threatened to sue us. Really? You yeah. Say. Yeah, so we had been producing some traditional tulip shape whiskey glasses. Oh, yes. Uh huh. We never used the name. Right, of course. But they claimed to own the shape of the glass. Mm -hmm. And since I'm just a little guy, I couldn't fight. Right. But do you know what that motivated us to do, Wes? What? To go out and design a glass that was actually made for high-proof American spirits. So the company that had the problem with us, their glass was originally designed for low-proof scotch whiskey. Oh, okay. 80, yeah. 86 proof, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And do you know what I had noticed? Every time I would nose a really high-proof, high-quality oh. spirit in the United States yeah. out of this glass, all I got was ethanol yeah, burn. Yeah, a little burn there. I felt that. And so we went out and we designed this glass that's actually designed for those higher-proof spirits. And I'm so confident in this glass that if anybody were to go to our website and buy one, I'm offering a money-back guarantee. Wow. If you get that glass to your house and you find yourself one of these traditional tulip-shaped glasses and you nose a high-proof spirit side-by-side side and you can't tell the difference, I will gladly give you your money back. So what you're saying is they can really stick it to the Karen and mm -hmm. support the little guy by mm -hmm. going to bourbonrealtalk.com and ordering one of these with absolutely no risk. They could get their money back if they don't prefer it, nosing it to the other? Absolutely. Okay. And if you love small business and you like sticking it to Karens, that's the way to go. Stick it to Karen. Bourbonrealtalk.com. Cheers. All right. I don't know what to do, Randy. I'm terrified. Going once. Yeah, I going guess twice. I'm just going to do it. Yeah. And if I make a fool of myself, then that's what it is. All right, are we rolling? We're rolling. Okay, everybody has made their final selections. Uh, we decided while we were tasting that we were going to do two things. One, we we're going to reveal the rank. And two, we are going to reveal what pick uh, we think each one is. So before uh, Chrissy Lynn puts the bottles up on the table, um, we have to go through and name uh, what we think each glass is. And this is the part where we are going to make fools of ourselves. Absolutely. Because we have already discussed this and we already have very different opinions about what is what. All right, Wes. Uh, starting with the oh, bottle man. that's on your left, the viewer's far right. We're going <clears> to <throat> call the viewer's far right one. And as we move to the right, we're going to call it five. So one for you. 
Uh, that is your number one rank? That's my number one, and I'm terrified to find out what that is. I really think it is the Eagle Rare 17. Okay. You think it's Eagle Rare 17, number one? I think okay. it is. Number two, um, you rated as I rated your it third? my third, and I think that this is um, the Old Rip. Old Rip. Yep. Number three, you rated it your second. And I think that's the GTS. GTS. Number four. The Infinity. You think it's the Infinity. Yeah, it's just too wild. And it's ranked for number four. And five, you ranked fifth place. I think that's the Lot B. You think it's Lot B. Okay. Uh, Chris, number uh, one. Number one for me, I also had as the Eagle Rare 17. Uh, I've only had it one other time, so it was hard to pull from memory for me. Okay. Uh, number two. Wait, what, what ranked or place oh. did you give it? I gave fourth, it a so. fourth place. Fourth, okay. Yeah. Number two. Was number two your for number me two? was uh, I felt like that could be the Infinity Pour. I got quite a few flavors in that one. Okay. And I ranked it second. Second, okay. So number three. Uh, number three for me was, was third. Uh, it was it was my third place bottle, and uh, let's see, this one for me was the uh, this was the Old Rip. Tenure. Old Rip, okay. Uh, number four. Number four was my highest rank. This was my number one ranked, and I felt that was the GTS. I okay. felt like I could taste a lot of age on that one. Okay, and number five. And then number five was my fifth place, and this was the Lot B. Okay. Okay, so we agreed on the one and four, five, five on what we thought the bottle was. Okay. Okay. Good. I differ with both of you. Okay. It's not surprising. <laughs> okay. We're amateurs. Um, yes. Number, well, I, so am I. And we're, I'm, some of us are going to look dumb. <laughs> so, so, hey. All right. Uh, number one, I think, is Old Rip. Okay. And it is third place for me. Number two, I think, is Lot B, and it is fourth place for me. Okay. Number three, I think, is My Infinity, and it is second place for me. Number four, I think, is George C. Stagg, and it is first place for me. And number five, I think, is Eagle Rare 17, and it is fifth place for me. So oh, we man. agreed on your first place. You we agreed on first place and fifth place. I didn't agree yeah. with anything you just said. So. Yep. All right. So so someone's I'm shooting 50-50 here. I got two for you and two for you. Someone's going to look dumb. Okay. okay. Number one. Number one on the far left is... Old, old rip, rip. Okay. in your face. Okay. Hey, I do like old rip. Though. I do like I old mad rip. About so that you ranked it number one. I did. But you thought it was. I thought it was the lowest proof of most. I mean, I thought it was the Eagle Rare. I, it wasn't. The, the the last one tasted a little bit weaker to me as far as a lower proof. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, okay. Um, I don't know, man. I, I really like it though. All right, number All right. two. Which was my number two. I thought it was lot B. It Eagle, Eagle Rare, Rare 17. 17. Okay. All right, now, okay. in all fairness, the distinguishing characteristic between Lot B and Eagle Rare for me is the uh, bitter oak flavor. And so I thought that number two was Lot B. Um, it turned out to be Eagle Rare, so that then means that my number five is probably Lot B. All right. So we all might right. be right on that lot B on the last one. All right, let's yeah. see. Let's see. I was wrong this on is that GTS. one. This is what I guess GTS. Ooh. Oh, number three. And I was correct. That is my infinity wow. bottle. Ranked number and, two. And Bam. I ranked it three. I ranked so, it two. All right. All right. All right. Nice. So that's the good. It was is legit. Good. That's, yeah. That was good. Uh, okay, number four has got to be, gotta be GTS. GTS. It's got to be. It's got to be. Yeah. yeah. Right there. And that means that I just okay. messed up the Eagle Bear okay. and the lot B. They're both equally as bad in your mind. Oh no, it's just I they were <laughs> close. I had to go back and taste them side by side. Okay. I, I, I'm so, glad I got one out of five. Jeez. And the lot B. All right. All right. So I I was afraid that I would mix up the Eagle Rare and the Lot B for the reasons I, did too. I mentioned. Um but uh for uh the viewers at home, you ranked the infinity bottle in this epic lineup what number out of five? Third. Um you ranked it third. I ranked it two. Wow. So it beat out. It beat out. Yeah. George T. Stack for me and uh, many others. Ain't I mean, nothing beating out George T. Stack for me, son. No, not I for know. me today. I know. You give me George T. Stack, I know. All right? Well, that like is I my jam. That's what I know. <clears throat> and you can taste the age on it for me compared to these other pours. Yeah. I don't know, man. That number four just seemed like a lot of different, a lot of different flavor profiles. And which year releases <clears throat> this one? Uh, I can't remember if that's 17 or 20. Okay. I think it's 20. Uh, I think that, that was... was I should have said 21 and then everyone would lose their minds <laughs> in the comments. 
What, you got the only bottle? You got the only bottle of George C. Stagg 21? So, this is the weird. This is the first time, though, for me that I've ever picked up any kind of nuttiness with George T. Stack. Okay. And that's what threw me off of like thinking it was the Infinity because I'm getting like that finish of more of a. I get a little grapey, a little bit of cherry, cherry, but then it's like got this weird nuttiness to it that I would expect from some from Heaven Hill and other Jim Beam. All I taste is beautiful <clears throat> pipe tobacco smells. That's all I taste. I just love it. That's, <clears throat> it's my. I'd agree with that. This was an jam. incredible blind. Yes. This was, this was awesome. Excellent blind. So what did we learn from our blind? I would say that we learned that if you're picky about what you put in your infinity, you can create a world-class blend. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So for all you naysayers out there that are like, infinity, whatever, you get all upset, you make fun of people for doing them, and you call them taters, okay? Well, maybe I am a tater, okay? <laughs> but maybe... Being a tater makes me and my friends happy when we drink from my infinity bottle. I'm and you're happy. just gonna have to deal with that. I'm happy. I'm yeah. happy. Thanks for sharing that bottle, Randy. Yeah. yeah. And all awesome. these other magnificent pours, man. Yeah. It's awesome. it's, yeah. So we uh the, the other thing is if you're just not too stuck up, you know, about your whiskey, then you you know, if you're thinking about doing an infinity bottle, do one. Just do make it. sure it's well curated. Yep. You know. And uh you, when you share it with your whiskey loving friends. Um, if they're not too stuck up, they're going to enjoy the concept of how many epic bottles, especially if you start telling them about the effort that went into getting some of the bottles that you put into your infinity. I think it creates a real connection. Yeah, and, uh, that's awesome. I think that's, that's neat. Memories in a bottle. Yeah. That's that. That's that. Um, so if you want to do one, don't let the daysayers discourage you. All right. So uh, we should do a giveaway. What if you gave away a one ounce sample from your infinity bottle? Because that was incredible. All right, yep. let's do let's do five. Five, five. Okay. okay, it's an infinity bottle. I can fill it back up. Yeah. Do All it, right, dude. Okay. So we are going to give away five one ounce samples from my infinity mm. bottle for you to take to your house and compare right. to your epic right horse. That is right. So good. You're going to get the opportunity. Um, so um, we should tell them about how they can support this channel. Um, so first off, if you want to enter to win the uh, five infinity bottle pours, you are going to have to do a few things. First off, you got to make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you need to ring that bell so you get notified when we post new content. Third, you need to like this this post and comment. And you also need to comment. Yep. And we would appreciate a share with your friends because they'd probably like to get some of this infinity bottle whiskey as well. Um, although that's not required to enter. And in the video description, there's a link for you to click to give us some basic contact information. We're gonna randomize the names. We're gonna pick the five winners. We're gonna reach out to you mm -hmm. and we're gonna send you, <clears throat> when I say we, I actually mean Chrissy Lynn, who's just off camera. Chrissy Lynn is gonna send you a one ounce pour Ooh. of the infinity bottle. I'm thinking about joining it. I'm thinking about doing it too. You I mean, should. I already subscribed, so yeah. I might as well just comment because that is delicious. That is delicious. Absolutely. Uh, but there's mm -hmm. other ways that you can support this channel. We talked about uh, Patreon earlier. We talked mm -hmm. about subscribing. We also have merch, and we, we have to give a shout out to the people who bought merch from Bourbon Real Talk before. Yep. Uh, you employ a single mother, uh, Chrissy Lynn. You keep this podcast going, and we really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also have to do the shameless plug, because I am a real estate agent, yes. and I service residential real estate buyers and sellers in Dallas and Houston metro areas. I do give epic closing gifts. Like these kind of bottles. Like these kinds of bottles. I've actually given away, except for the Infinity Bottle, every one of these has been a closing gift for one of my clients at mm. some point in time. Um, but Wes, you do some stuff too. So Yeah. I mean, uh, in real estate world, I have a company called Tourmax. And TourmaxMedia.com is uh, where, we, where you can go. If you're a local real estate agent in the DFW area, and if you need incredible media to help market your properties or yourself, uh, that's where you need to, to head on over to tourmaxmedia.com. And then Whiskey Thread, you sell... Whiskey Thread, yeah. <laughs> Whiskeythread.com is all your whiskey swag shirts, uh, clever sayings, funny shirts. Uh, if you like a good whiskey shirt to wear to to shares or whatever you find yourself hanging out with your whiskey buddies, go to whiskeythread.com and check it out. Uh, also, oldtownprovisions.com is my store uh, locally. We also have an online store as well. So uh, go check that out. Um, love the support and appreciate everybody for uh, the love. And for those of you who don't know what Old Town Provisions would sell, 
It is a gentleman's dry goods store. Mm -hmm. So if you are a gentleman, just think about the things that you want and that's what they sell. Yep. They sell uh, buffalo meat, beef jerky, and custom knives, and leather cases, and awesome clothing, and cool hats. Dude and stuff. Dude, dude stuff. stuff. It's yes. a dude store. Dry rubs so that you can create the best smoked whatever that you want. Yeah. Dude stuff. Dude stuff. All right. So if this is your first time tuning in, I'd love to promote something that you have, but as a firefighter. Yeah, go catch something on fire. Yeah. Uh, or get stuck in a car <laughs> or have a wreck. And, and this you'll guy see him. Yeah. might show up and, and he'll help you out. He'll you know? save your life. Keep which him is... employed. Keep him. At... No, don't do that. If you need you a friend in life. You don't want to see him. You don't... If you see him, something went wrong. Yeah. If, if yeah. there's ever a friend to have, it's someone who can literally save your life yeah. anytime. So yeah. whether you're choking on something at a restaurant <laughs> or bleeding out on the side of the interstate, this dude's got this guy's back. got your back for just sure. make sure it happens in Louisville yeah. area yeah oh that's boy. where he he does all of his life you have a wreck in kansas he he's not gonna be i might not be there no no i he used that the helicopter but he gave that up you yeah. know yeah. Like, that was old that was an old school way to do it all right so if this is your first time tuning in we want to thank you for the view let you know a little bit about our channel we're all about bringing people together around whiskey mm -hmm. and that's something that became important to me because i lost a loved one to suicide and I wanted to find a way to create community and connection because I knew that my brother had lost a lot of that as his life kind of devolved after he'd gotten out of the military. And um, he, he was a veteran, and um, like a lot of veterans, he was addicted to opioids and developed a, a drinking problem along with that. And, um, you know, his, his life just kind of went downhill, and a lot of his friends had made the decision to pull away from him. And... Um, I started noticing as I started looking for ways to create community and connection that people that engaged in the passion of bourbon were forming connections faster than you normally would in normal social situations. And so I thought maybe if I can get you connected to whiskey, we can, you know, the, the whiskey will do the rest of the job and, and get you connected with others. And so we started the channel. We started Bourbon Real Talk Community, which is a forum. It's free. It's based on Facebook. Um, and that is a great place to create connection and, and meet up with other people. Um, and we don't allow any trolls in there. Nope. And when we no did the, the research, there, there are a lot of trolls online of people that are showing hate to strangers. But they taught <laughs> us an important lesson, and that is if, if they can show hate, we can show love. And that's why we end every episode the same way, and that's this. If you woke up this morning and you're unsure whether or not anyone loved you, just know that we, we love, love you. you. And we'll see you next time on Bourbon Real Talk. Cheers. Cheers. Guys. Cheers. Bourbon Real Talk Plus is the place to go to support the mission and vision of Bourbon Real Talk while connecting on a much deeper level. These monthly subscriptions are not simply a donation. While our faithful patrons do help to keep the show going, it's not a one-way street. There are a ton of perks to joining the Patreon. You get access to exclusive bonus content and discounts on Bourbon Real Talk merch. We have both in-person meetups and virtual bottle shares online. And best of all, you get access to the distillery takeovers, where we have private entry to a distillery for the day, sample barrels, fellowship, and so much more. So head over to Bourbon Real Talk Plus on Patreon today and check out the membership options to see what best fits you. And as always, thank you to our loyal patrons who support the show. We couldn't do it without you. Cheers. Cheers.